One of the biggest concerns of all mummies to be out there is obviously that baby could be in a breech position mm. at term. And so many women ask us what can cause a breech position, obviously with the intention to do something about it, right? Yes. So in this video, we are going to discuss the most common reasons why a baby can be breech. And then we're also going to tell you what you can try to help baby into a better position. <laughs> This is Natalie, a pregnancy and birth consultant, TCM therapist. And that's Matthias, a researcher and science geek. Can we help expecting mummies and their babies naturally and science-based? So what can cause a baby to be breech? Okay, so first of all, we really have to do something for your peace of mind here because we receive so many emails from women who are in panic mode because their baby is not yet in a head down position. Mm. And some of them are not even like 16 weeks pregnant, right. right? And so first of all, we'd like to tell you that unless you are like 35 weeks pregnant, then you really should not worry about your baby being breached. Yes. In fact, we often see breech babies turn as late as week 40. Yeah. And at my practice, I turn breech babies sometime between week 34 and week 36, so quite late, right? Yeah. And we're going to tell you how I do that in a video that we are going to refer you to at the end of this video. Yes. So again, we completely understand why a breech position worries you, mm -hmm. but please do give your baby the time to turn. Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, I'm not going to lie to you. No matter what you do, not every baby is going to turn head down. Yeah. Even Natalie is not able to turn every single baby at her practice. Mm -hmm. And there can be good reasons for that. So let's discuss why babies can be breached in the first place. Right. So first of all, I think it's needless to say that the most important factor why a baby can be breached is the stage of your pregnancy. It's very simple. The earlier the stage of your pregnancy, the more likely it is that your baby is breached. For example, before week 24, the majority of babies are breached. However, at week 40, for instance, only a very small percentage of babies is breached. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, it's very likely that your baby is going to turn head down eventually, right? Now, a very large study from Finland also found that your baby is more likely to be breached if this is your first pregnancy. And scientists assume that the reason for that is the tight wall of the abdomen and uterus in first pregnancies, yeah. which might inhibit the baby from turning. Yes. However, the good news is that first, the majority of those babies are still going to turn eventually. And second, our approach to turn a breech baby that we are going to talk about later on really works works very well for first-time moms too. Yes, unfortunately the same does not always apply when it comes to the next cause of a breech position and that's an abnormally shaped uterus. So normally a uterus has the shape of an upside down pear, mm -hmm. right? However, in some women the shape of the uterus is different. Right. For example, a biconvoid uterus looks like heart-shaped. Right. As a result, there's going to be less room for the baby to turn, which is by a breech position is more likely. Right. And unfortunately, when that's the case, it can be very difficult to turn a baby, even with the tools that Natalie applies. Yes, but sometimes a breech presentation can also be the result of other complications inside the uterus, such as fibroids. And if those fibroids are quite large and or have an unfavorable position inside the uterus, they could prevent the baby from turning. And that too makes it very difficult to turn a baby even with external support. Yes, the same can apply when the placenta has an unfavorable position. Normally, the placenta attaches somewhere in the upper area of the uterus, right? Mm -hmm. However, in some cases, it can also attach in the lower area. Right. Don't worry, this normally does not affect the development of your baby. However, in some cases, it can prevent a baby from turning, mm. particularly in case of placenta previa, which means that the placenta covers your entire cervix. Exactly. The next common cause, and this is an interesting one, is a bad sitting position. You have to understand that the way you sit, particularly at the end of your pregnancy, affects your baby's ability to turn. When you are in a reclined position, for instance, gravity presses your baby against your back and your baby's body is not well aligned with your pelvis. Yes, as a result, your baby has much less room available to turn. But the good news here is that in that case, it is normally quite easy to turn a breech baby with the right sitting position, mm -hmm. particularly if supported by the tools that we are going to share with you in just a minute. Right. And then another common cause for a breech position is too much or too little amniotic fluid. 
In both cases, a baby may find it more difficult to turn, and unfortunately, we cannot always help such babies turn with external help. Yes, but the good news is that when you have too little amniotic fluid, you can often correct that problem simply by keeping yourself hydrated, mm -hmm. right? On the other hand, with too much amniotic fluid, there are ways how your provider can help reduce that amount. Right. But this is something you obviously have to discuss with your provider. Mm -hmm. Please keep in mind though, it does not always help turn a breech baby, but we have seen cases when it did work. Exactly. Now, what can you do when your baby is not head down? Well, there are several things. First of all, you can support your baby turn head down with birth ball exercises. Given that you're allowed to do such exercises, right? But what birth ball exercises do is they can help your baby find a better position in your womb, which is why we recommend them throughout your pregnancy. If you want to know how to do them, watch the video that pops up now. Exactly. The next thing to do to support your baby is a good sitting position. Some time ago, we recorded a video about the best sitting position to induce labor. Mm -hmm. And that sitting position will also support your baby turn head down. Exactly. Right? And don't worry, although we talk about inducing labor in that video, the best sitting position will not induce labor as long as your body is not ready for labor, i.e. a term, right? right? It's more about supporting the whole process of preparing your body for that big day. And that video is supposed to pop up now. Yes. And finally, the most effective natural way to turn a breech baby are breech baby turning exercises in combination with moxibustion. In fact, the video that we recorded has helped hundreds of women turn the breech baby, as you're going to see in the comment section of that video. <laughs> so if you want to know how this works, Watch the video that pops up now. And as always, you can also find the links to those videos below this video. Right. If you have found this video helpful, we would be super grateful if you could leave us a like below this video. Yes, and for more useful tips and tools on pregnancy and baby-related topics, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell.